Transition your home decor from season to season without buying all new furniture. No matter your budget or style, there are simple and inexpensive ways to switch out your home decor accents. And I will share my secrets of where to store it all. Have timeless pieces that will last you for years, starting with the most expensive piece you'll buy, your sofa. I chose the color gray because it's not only timeless, but it's also a neutral, and it also allows me to add pops of color like this edgy mustard yellow accent pillow I got from Home Goods for only $16.99. Yellow has not always been my favorite color, but having it in the space, it's happy and it's cheery, and having yellow up against the gray sofa bumps it up to a different level of sophistication. Mixing other pillows I had already that are neutral, I added two more pillows I got from Ross Stores for $12.99 for the two. Balance is key when you add color, so it's important to lightly sprinkle it around the room. On my accent chairs, I added two more pillows that are also from Home Goods. Now, although it's a different pattern and shade of yellow, it still works because it's part of the yellow family. Don't forget your side tables and coffee tables to polish off the look. My coffee table is wood and dark, which I love, but I also love that I have the option of making my tabletop lighter without painting the beautiful wood. I'm adding marble peel and stick contact paper for a lighter feel, and I will have a link down below in case you want to purchase it. Before adding your contact paper, clean your surface really well, making sure you get rid of any loose dust. Measure out how much you will need, and before you buy, make sure you measure whatever surface you're going to be doing so you will have enough. Cut it to fit, and you want to overlap because you can cut off the excess. Use a credit card to smooth out any air bubbles as you apply the paper. One of my favorite things to do when I decorate is to style my coffee table. And doing it with pieces that I love makes it even more special. I love using trays to corral all of my items and for that layered look. Greenery is also a must have in all of my vignettes for life. And the brass bowl is from the flea market that I got for only a few dollars and I added Dollar Tree succulents inside. White faux tulips are inside a planter I already had and these brass ducks are placed on the tray. These vintage tulip candlesticks were only $1 each and they are also from the flea market. By the way, they didn't always look like this. Here's a before of the state they were in and I will have a link down below on how to clean your brass. I love the sleek simpleness they add to the coffee table and of course I had to add my infamous pineapples. Carrying simple touches over to my end tables, everything on this table I already had, I just enhanced it once again with greenery. The vase and jar from Ross Stores, and the vase was only $8.99, and the vase I believe it was $11.99. I leave it there all year round, and I just change up the faux flowers when I change up my color scheme. The books are from the dollar store, I just removed the covers that it came with, and added wrapping paper that's also from the dollar store, and just wrap your books like we used to when we were back in school. On the other end table, I added more flowers. The yellow vase was actually a gift bouquet I got years ago, and I saved the vase because it's very sentimental to me, and I just love it. So here's a tip. When you get a pretty vase, save it. You'll never know when you'll need it. So I get tons of questions of where and how do I store all of my pillows, and rightfully so, you guys should know where I store my pillows. The secret to my madness is space saver bags. They are wonderful, you guys. You will not regret having them, I promise you. The Home Depot has affordable space saver bags, and they come in small, medium, and large, and I always buy extra and keep them in my laundry room in case I need one. And all you need is a vacuum hose to suck the hot air out, and my secret is I place them underneath my sofa. No one will ever know until now. I usually place a fabric softener sheet inside to keep them smelling fresh, and when you open the bag to grab a pillow, it will form back to its original state. I hope some of my tips has helped you to bring some color into your home for the summer. Room color can influence your mood. It can also create an illusion of space. So don't be afraid, add color. And I wanna thank you all for watching.